Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for Will There Be Contact. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like to buy a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And also, my beautiful drawings. So, we're going to be talking about the current situation between you and your person. Why is there no contact? All right. What do they want to say to you? Will there be contact and some advice? And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Show me the cards in the APC. Show me the cards in the two. All right, let's see here in the current. We're going to do a nine card spread here for the current. And then, we're, of course, we're going to jump into why there's no contact. But I want to find out where your person is in reference to you. So we're looking at your person in reference to you, okay, for the current. So, so your person is in that place of my hands are tied. So they're trapped in their thoughts, and I get the sense that there's a lot of people around them, okay? Or there's just a lot of negativity in their thoughts, and they're just like, I don't know what to do. I feel like my back's against the wall. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what to do. I don't know how to get out of this situation. Um, I'm stuck, okay? That's where your person's at. Let's keep going here. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. You see how they want to have a reunion there? Okay? They want to th bring this reunion back. All right? And they're just like stuck. They feel like their hands are tied. There's like, I don't know how to do it kind of energy. Let's keep going. So we can see because of some kind of commitment, engagement or marriage, okay, or their concern, for some of you guys it could be because there's another relationship or some kind of complexities around this, okay, um, or there is something about them concerned about repeating some kind of patterns. Okay, so, because that can also represent the ring card as well, let's go further. Sagittarius so this person's like I get the sense with this particular card it's just like been a long road it's been a long wait and your person's like I want to, to reveal some things to you I don't know how to tell you that's what I feel like from this particular card I want to reveal some things to you I don't know how to tell you it's been a long road I want to go forward I almost get the sense with your person, Sagittarius, that they notice you, they watch you, they're aware of you, okay? This is you in the front. You are around other people, right? Um, some of you guys may be in a place of a spotlight, okay? This person watches you, they notice you, they see you, and they want your attention. And they are thinking about you in the current. We see that there's something about this family conflict, this family situation, or work here with the Ten of Pentacles energy. This person is like alone and they're thinking and they're contemplating about this. And I get the sense because of the fact this boat is in the middle of the lake, I feel like they're stuck in the middle. They're stuck in the middle and they're like, 
I don't know how to navigate this. And they're not sure. They have a lot of uncertainty. Yeah, exactly what I'm feeling. Uh, it's like this stagnant, stuck energy within this person, and they want to go for this. They want to, you see how, like, it's very interesting, if you look at the dynamics of these cards, right? How there's a big bright light here and a big bright light there. But you see how this person seems to be blocking that bright light and that tree seems to be blocking that light. So it's like they want to go to that light. They want to reveal some things to you. And it feels like they're like, I don't know how. I want to talk to you about these emotions, but I don't know how. I don't know how to break free from this situation. I don't know how to untangle myself. And we see that there is some kind of infringing party here. OK? Or there's issues here, some kind of self-doubt possibly, too, for some of you guys, depending on your situation. And concerns about a potential new love. This person really sees you as very attractive in the current, OK? They know you are very attractive. Look, you're the swan. And again, we see this light. And this person, I feel like your person is saying, I really wish and hope because of the fact that there's this magical energy around this situation and they want to embrace the future with you. And you see how they are doing a lot of reflecting on this, on your beauty, your attraction. And again, you're seeing an image of us from the perspective of this person looking at you. So this person's looking at you back here and they're seeing you glow up, they see that you're very attractive, they have concerns, maybe you have a new person, or there's some kind of infringing party here around this situation that's causing some issues where this person feels like they're trapped in the current. We see something about a marriage, a happy home, uh, a solid foundation here. And we see someone who is, there's a sense of, I need to gain control over this. So I can be single and available to pursue, so we can be happy. Right, because they they're definitely in the current wanting to be happy with you. Because you see here, there you are all by yourself, there they are all by themselves in the stuck stagnant situation, but they're like, I want us to be together. They want to be together. They want to be happy together. Looks like they almost want to take a vacation with you somewhere. They want in the current to find some type of creative solution to work together somehow to kind of just be around you and surprise you and to have some sense of hope here. Yeah, because you can definitely see I feel like this person's trying to figure out a way. How do I overcome these obstacles here in this situation and do something unusual, unique? where I can actually have a path here to success. We keep on seeing cards where they're able to see you and your back's turned to them. So again, there's this work effort, you know, going on here and I get the sense also again, they're watching you from afar. They're concerned about these restrictions, these boundaries, this cautiousness. How do I put the work into this? We see there's a relationship, a soulmate connection. And we see in the current, they have an awareness that they want to fulfill their desires. And if you look here, what's going on in the background here? The moon is covered with a bunch of clouds. Clouds for me represents confusion. Confusion, how do I get what I want? How do I get what I want? We see that the person in the current is debating on ending a situation so they can have a new beginning with you. Because they are in a stuck, stagnant situation here. And there's something about this situation that involves money and finance. And they're like trying to break free from that so they can have the flow. They can move towards where they want to move emotionally here. 
because this person in the current loves you, Ace of Cups energy, and wants to give you their heart. And they're at a loss about how to do this because of this infringing party coming out again. And there is a very protective energy around this. So your person is waiting for the right time, the right opportunity here, Three of Wands energy. So they can have a sense of happiness. Again, we see three people in that card. And they're deeply thinking about this because they realize that there's very deep emotions between you and them. Okay, so let's bring it all together, okay? So this is long road to happiness and wanting to go with the flow, this isolation, this separation, and trying to find a path here. There's a very cautious, protective energy. I want to embrace the future and fulfill my desires because I know you're the wisest decision for me when it comes to love and romance. So in your case scenario, I do feel like there's some type of third party here, whether that be family or maybe another uh, person, like a marriage or something. So we see some kind of commitment or a long-term commitment here. Commitment to gauge your marriage, single and available to pursue. We see this money and finance and family situation hopeful. We see the infringing party and new love, and we see a relationship and lots of soul searching. So you can again see that they want some kind of reunion. They're trying to make a power move. They're stuck. They're thinking about you. They want a surprise. They feel like some kind of surprise was taken away because of some kind of infringing party. And they feel like there's restrictions and boundaries and they want to be happy. And this is all in the current for your person, okay, when it comes to you. But it's definitely giving me a lot of vibes of another person involved. Because um, we got a lot of threes, and we got this card of trapped energy and the hangman stuff going on here. So you guys know your own situation, of course. We see, I'm trapped in my thoughts when it comes to this marriage, this happy home, and I need to end this situation to get your attention. I want to find a creative solution because I love you. I feel stuck and stagnant. We see this work situation. I need to wait for the opportunity. Okay, well... We're definitely going to find out now why they're not contacting you. Let's use this deck right here. Let's, let's just see clear cut why. Why is Sagittarius's love interest the one they're here for? The one they know about? Why is the Sagittarius love interest the one they're of communication with? Why is this person contacting them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So there's concerns about rejection, there's concerns about silence, ignoring, because of some air of mystery. They just have a lot of unknowns. I told you they were watching you. There we got the social media cards spying. There's finances involved and in the reason why. And there, there's something about finances. Now, when you read cards, guys, okay, you want to read it like a sentence, right? So it's like, Finances is attracting them. And we see something about music. Some of you guys may have a person where their career is involving music or maybe doing something on the stage there. Because I did feel like that for some of you guys as well. We see that they're trying to find their liquid courage. They're seeing a lot of signs and synergies, but they're maybe not paying attention to it. And there we got this infringing party right there. OK, so. There's a fear of rejection because of finances. They lack the courage. There's a mystery when it comes to you and their attraction. And they are missing the signs and synergies. They're watching you, spying on you. We see they're trying to bring something into harmony here. And we see something about this person here. Or reminiscing about the past or something about an infringing party. Let's go further. Yep, third party's coming out. I see relationship. And there's some indecisions. Okay. Okay, so what do they want to say to you, considering all that? What is Sagittarius's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What does Sagittarius' love interest want to say to Sagittarius? The one they're in communication with. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. 
What does it want to say to you? Okay. Okay, so they're trying to listen to their gut, their instincts, and they have desires, and there's this desire, hunger, this isolation or separation. They're doing a lot of reflecting here. They want an ending so they can reset. So there must be some type of relationship either on your, your end or their end, okay? Because they're like, I want to end something here so I can reset this connection. But I'm fearful and worried and have a lot of pain. I want to be confident here in love. And there are so many disruptions. Oh, I have the sense of being rejected and I'm really cautious about this and frustrated. All right, so let's see. Let's see if they're gonna contact you. So the timing is gonna be whenever you guys click on this message, the message is meant for you. So whenever Sagittarius comes upon this message, that's when the message is meant for them. So the timing is gonna be from that time when you click on this message. All right, so. Will Sagittarius here from, will their, their love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, will they hear from their love interest in the next three months? Positive card for yes, negative card for no. Show me cards you can see. Show me the cards I need. Let's see. Queen of Cups. Page of Cups. Oh yeah, definitely, guys. All right, I know it's a neutral card there, but these are two positive cards. Queen of Cups says because of so many emotions, there's there's going to be this this want to communicate. So we have Page of Cups, good news. So we see how it's going to go down is there's somebody who is going to contemplate their emotions, right? That, that your person is rational about your person. They're contemplating their emotions, and you're going to receive some kind of message, good news, about some kind of commitment, engagement, or marriage right there, higher fent. There's an overwhelming burden for this person. They're feeling defeated, and they find their courage, strength, or confidence here to, again, communicate. And we see some romance going on here, and Sun card definitely reconfirms, again, the ending card saying, yes, happiness. Joyful energy, about to be very happy. So let me get you guys some advice. Let's use this deck. So I haven't used this deck in a while. Can I have some advice from my Sagittarius's when it comes to their love connection for their highest best good, for the best possible outcome for them when it comes to their person and what should they do at this time? The one they're in communication with. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's pull from the middle here. Okay, so I feel like what this card is saying in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So it's saying lean on others for support. Yeah, it's saying that a distant friend is thinking of you. And that you are about to receive some kind of exciting, something about an exciting uh, event. So it's like you're gonna, it's like a person's gonna need your assistance or someone can lend some assistance to you. We see a friend who is far away from you. And there's something about this exciting event that could uh, help you. All right, and be cognizant. Don't let anyone um, make you do something that you don't want to do. At this moment, I would say that just wait. There's going to be some news. So it's saying per bird is perched. Bird saying bird perched means, well, birds talk about conversations, OK? So it's saying to stay patient and get ready for communication. Yep, it's saying you're gonna triumph over your obstacles here. And again, we have another bird, and the bird, birds for me represent seeing things from a higher perspective. When a bird flies over, they see things from a higher perspective. So see things from a higher perspective. You're gonna triumph over these obstacles. Just stay patient, you're gonna receive some kind of news. And if you feel like this friend is, you know, not, for your highest best good or you, you don't really appreciate their advice you don't have to file their advice if you don't want to it's completely up to you okay i say that even with anyone you know even us okay people who read tarot for you uh astrology or anything you guys have free will 
this reality was made so people could utilize their free will. So, you know, we as beings can realize our free will. That is how it's supposed to be in this reality. We're supposed to learn about love and we're supposed to be able to use our free will. So you guys, you have to do what you feel is best for you. Okay, in the end, follow your heart, listen to your intuition, you know what's best for you. Okay, I'm only here as guidance. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.